Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, you know that by now, and we're continuing the Saving Your Disaster campaign running out of steam. It is mission number three and this is definitely a tricky disaster campaign because the game actually throws this curveball after curveball. We had this one mission where I needed to hire rookies and then we now had uh, or have that surgical mission here. Well, this is going to be interesting. We're going in with the best uh, um, soldiers that we do have at this point. Hopefully our upgraded shotgun, the grenades and just the Templar will uh, will be the right uh, um, the right thing. We're going to take an ultrasonic lure because I do have uh, the feeling that we're maybe running into loss and if that is the case then the uh, um, ultrasonic lure would be a fantastic item. So let's see if my hunch is correct and if we can pull it off. Hmm. Well, on the positive, we got an extra pair of hands. On the negative, it's definitely not a a lost map quite the opposite but we're starting in high ground so all in all not too bad front line is moving up into the front line that's some high ground over here Got it. and another rookie Might as well take the high ground for some extra aiming chance. Surgical is always one of these situations where you definitely don't want to pull another pack because that will make your life a living hell. The path is clear. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, I remember this there is oftentimes a lot of fight around that uh, side of the chasm. Closing on target position now. Don't have the chimney on this side, that's the problem. The chimney could have given us some sort of cover. Without a chimney, it's going to be a tough sell, so no high ground. Watch Shut, up. Shut up and listen. That's typically what I want to say to Bradford. Enemy squad located. But he somehow never does that. The day that Bradford shuts up is the day that XCOM has given up on you. To victory. Good full cover is not bad. I like it. Uh, half cover here, not great, but we, we don't want to move too far away from uh, one another. Surgical, we really need to make sure that we, like the name implies, surgically remove one pack after the other. Hmm. Okay. Difficult. I mean, this here would be kind of an obvious choice to really get rid of most of it, shred these guys. Potentially not a bad idea. Typically, I don't like to open with grenades, but I think we're going to do it this time. Mainly because I want to keep the distance and with all of the cover away, uh, gone. They might go downstairs. Yeah, I was hoping that that would happen. Because downstairs then, in return, breaks line of sight. And that gives us the extra power that we need. So we could teamwork over. Not sure if we need that right now. I 
I don't think we do. Uh, not great. Not sure if we can we can fully pull it off without any uh, form of cooldowns. Hmm. How do we solve that? Five to six, right? Two, four, six. Oh, that's not a kill. I still think we don't want to use... <sighs> now that is a problem. I will end you. Okay, easy. Um... Could move all the way to here. All the way to here, that's flankable and killable. Not the worst idea. Good work going to get more focus that's two right there and parry I don't want to deal with mind control we can't do anything about this guy at the moment so breaking line of sight this should not trigger anything Unfortunately, just grazed, but I think we still have the chance to actually kill this guy. Good sustenance, that's fine because we can kill him now during this turn. There's going to be blazing pinions, yep, yeah. which will force us into moving. Bit of a waste of his turn, but I think we're fine. Mind spin. No, reanimation. Interesting, okay. And it's just a shot. Deals damage. No, mind spin, okay. I'm off with my predictions this time. Panic, run away. Don't just sit there. Thank you. Okay, not perfect, but okay. Mind control? No, Holy Warrior. Ooh. I can see a chance here of this being a two for one kill. Three for one, actually, because there was a reanimation involved. Hmm. Can't go up here. That would be too dangerous. Okay. Full cover. Into... Killing that priest, come on. Yeah, very nice, very nice, Enemy great. Eliminated. And the feedback killed all of these guys. Hmm. 
barely out of range. The question that I'm asking myself is if we're going up there, am I going to regret it? Because there's another pack. And the answer, unfortunately, is potentially yes. So what I'm going to do is remove the shield. And accept that we're going to take some damage. Hmm, that would be a kill. Not a bad one either, and that would bring our Grenadier back in. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Because, fun fact, panic removes when the guy dies. Which then goes into teamwork. bit of a strange utilization of the Templar to use Vault that aggressively. And I would suggest we're really suppressing here. Well, that was a great example of... That was a great example of just efficient use of uh, action economy overall. Miss, miss. Nasty hit. Don't like that. You will pay the price. Good. We're going to tank him with the Templar. Unfortunately, a miss, but we're okay. We have the situation better under control now. Good to go. As I'm saying that, we're missing every single shot. If they want to reach us, we are dead, but I'm hoping that the AI will just use the immediate slash into parry. There we go. focus kill him that's the second focus and aggressively push forward that's the third focus lovely the Templar is loaded Templars are just incredibly versatile and good. If you know how to play them, uh, they are a absolute menace. Confirmed. Ready to rock. Rock and roll. Come get some. I'm on it. Vault into vault into tanking. Fun. Very much fun. Okay, we got two of them down. Now, let me suggest that we're getting a bit closer. Almost thinking whether or not we should um, Keep the high ground here, not sure yet, but I think it is still worth it. 
bit of an overwatch and let's see where the enemies are located we have no scouting available for us this might trigger does not okay very good Position confirmed. No need to ask twice. listen in which case We're just going to move up. Very close firing line. There's some more high uh, high ground over here and with the towers, and I would like to use that. Moving to position. I've got eyes on advent troops. Okay, it was a matter of time until that would happen. Not surprised. Hmm, I would like to really get this guy down. But it is difficult too far in. We would need to push very, very, very far. Moving to position. I am keeping my distance. Just to explain my rational uh, um, rationalization, I'm keeping my distance because I want to get hit by micro missiles. You could make an argument to keep both of us here um, in a close quarter, and then you are triggering micro missiles, which only deal three points of damage to one. So that's a secure hit as opposed to six to seven points of damage um, on a normal hit. I think that's not a bad idea. I don't want to push in further. I know it is dangerous to just push in further. This should not trigger. All right, very good, because first step here uh, was still blocked by line of sight. A quick strike. Lightning hands worked like a charm. And this could be just a kill. Yeah, it's all right. At least the sustenance is triggered. The aliens use to defeat most of Earth's heavy conventional forces. Okay. You can punch through armor just as easily as it chews through infantry. Be careful. Yeah, we do have problems. We do have pro men mucho problematico. Well, learned an important lesson, it's five points of damage. This will trigger Overwatch or not. Good, there definitely there will definitely be an explosion. Yeah, sector port is a massive problem. We might need to sacrifice our rookie here. Just 
way too many hit points on the field. Listen, this here would be decent damage, but maybe not level. But we need to dish out as much damage as we can. Salvo is missing yet again with Salvo. This could have been easier. Without Salvo though, unfortunately not the case. Kill. Uh, so close, but yet so far. They don't know that I'm there. Now the retaliation starts, and that will be painful. Yeah, I figured that that would happen. Ref cannon. Okay. Menace one five. More than half of the crates we're looking to recover have been destroyed. You need to be more careful. Did I mention that he has nothing nice to say? Okay, well, 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 well. Yeah, we're, we're just barely scraping by. Two, four, six, eight, that's not enough kill them. further back I strike for my people and now we need uh, the tank abilities can parry one shot that's fine that's about it this guy still has lightning field so make no mistake he can damage us there's the parry and now give me a reflect a big fat juicy reflect immune okay cool we have indestructible cover that's helpful as well Right, um, full cover. Negative 
damage. Stupid. see how I can stay in cover and deal with these guys so it's going to be more often open uh, open helmet um, bare knuckle brawl all right parry one that's good now I need reflect or dodge Rest cannon. There you go, baby. Their armor is tough. We can take one hit, but that's all we can do. The moment that we have one hit, uh, this the party is over. Immune. <laughs> Ready to go. Reload. Uh, I might actually suppress him, maybe. suppressing very good some damage and we still got a hit left unfortunately we don't have blade storm if we get too close he will lightning um, he will lightning uh, field us Just gotta continue. Nice, the crit came at the right time. Parry and suppress. Got the second shot, hopefully misses. Basically quarter uh, cover, uh, lo low cover that is. Okay, reload. Amplifying. This world is ours. Nice hit. Gaining focus back. Uh, I know it's going to be lightning field. Question is, do I want that? We can tank one. Yeah. That will injure us but not kill us because we do have parry. Lightning field unfortunately is not is not counterable by block. I don't know why they implemented it the way they did. It's a stupid mechanic, but yeah. That at least uh, ensured the survival here. We're immune to the explosion. Yeah, well, surgical, right? <laughs> That's a crazy run. It is a crazy run. But we made it. It's the first mission that we actually won. Unfortunately, we lost the Juggernaut. We got some conditioning, which is not bad. I like it. And whilst we're talking about that, do we have a personal combat sim? No? Okay. No, no, no. We don't want to replace. Oh, we already have superior focus? No. No, you didn't do that. 
dude, you can sell these things. Superior focus, really bad. You don't want to uh, to use that. Oh, okay. Good. Intel would be nice. But so would be so many other things. New we need money. That's our first uh, priority, and we'll get that. Do you not yet understand the price of defying the elders? Was the pacification wow. the settlement massive? Alright, so we're definitely going to change change it up a bit here. Okay, so this might take a while. Let me sell that. Good. So as you can see, uh, that's a very comfortable 1,100. You need to be willing to trade some of these things. In order to actually start a uh, mm, couple of investments here. So, what do we want to upgrade? We can start construction on the shadow chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. Uh, for starters, we need to dig deeper. We definitely need hey, some more in order to build um, build, uh, uh, build a few a few more. Um, what do we actually need? I think a power core is the next uh, thing. A few no more buildings, and then we need more contacts. So uh, that'll be my best guess for now Commander. but in the meantime upgrading beam cannon easy I wish we had a couple of viper corpses this is ridiculous one more that one more that just so that we do have a bit of a base equipment we do have we do have uh, quick uh, quick hands so we want to uh, we want the Templar to actually shoot with as much power as we ca uh, as we can afford fusion blade isn't bad and then definitely a lot of the guerrilla tactics school upgrades definitely the templar one uh, ranger one is very helpful and bigger booms is great but sharpshooter is good as well and he has a lot of sharpshooters so essentially what we're doing we're soon going to get more alloys and more larium what we're going to do is we're still going lower here but we just need some for research and that's about it um, and that's enough for two further upgrades. He has already upgraded all of that, which is good. That actually is good. I just think he didn't know how to properly make money. Sharpshooter upgrade, yes, and bigger booms also, yes. That's all hidden power that he, he has not tapped in. Good. And we're going to get new alloys and new alarium. Don't even worry about it. There's even alloys right here. That's going to be a hundred or something. Uh, something alloys. 
and greater resolve could help us we I want to contact over here and get there so what we need is 50 supplies that's not even a problem easy good so we want more income we want the continent bonus and I want to expand in order to give him the GTS uh, life fire training uh, that will mean he can train unlimited uh, um, recruits on uh, sergeant rank Fantastic. Plus my lands. Good. Of course, we now do no longer have enough to upgrade all of the armor. Uh, but yeah, could have uh, thought about that, but it's not the end of the world. Good. We got alien alloys and more alarium crystals. That's helpful. Let's start here with the excavation and we want another the shadow chamber would come in for free here because it is on uh, on a note but the question is do we really need that at the moment or do we rather want to go for training center plus resistance comps and i think the answer is the letter. So what I want is a power relay. Although it is more efficient to build, power-wise more efficient to build the shadow chamber here, it is currently not the biggest problem of this campaign. And sometimes you just gotta adjust. So uh, power relay costs 100 supplies. And I would argue, we have a positive confirmation on an I'll play that off screen. I would argue it's worth uh, investing more resources in it. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so see more alloys and delirium crystals. That's good. And we got another major, this time a skirmisher. Fantastic. So. Can I either hire more, which currently I don't think we need. I like the modular assault rifles, it's really good. But I also like resistance contacts. I don't like the risk of being captured though. So we anyways needed a bit of money. So let's go to the place where we can get our fix at the black market. Good, we need a bit of that and a bit of that. Okay, and this should allow us to a our ring facility is currently idle. If we have the soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. Uh who should get Dodge? I mean obviously the Templar. But might as well give it to Anders, who is becoming more and more of uh, the special mission agent together with Sophie no one should be captured maybe they bond maybe Sophie gets a level who knows but plus one resistance contact will help us to start uh, expanding a little bit 
promoting a soldier lots of points here I like that and we got tactical rigging and return fire fantastic so we're doing tactical rigging whiplash is great uh, combat presence best skill retribution which is blade storm also not bad ripjack very good return fire very good for uh, for us Um, yeah, zero in because we might have problems with hitting and that's kind of an okay um, version at the moment. Rip check, yeah, can be fun. I don't like waylay. It never really works that well and overwatch traps are not great either uh, total combat can be helpful if you do have a grenade which we could have with tactical rigging but we could also just take other stuff uh, reflex i personally like because uh, after being fired at you do have three turns so uh, if you ever get fired at uh, you return fire and you got three next time so that's fine Did he not upgrade the bulb pups? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, it seems he hadn't hasn't had any skirmishers in a while. And we're short on supplies. Good. Well, skirmisher has his standard weapon. That's not great. And the remaining I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Good, very good. Uh, that worked out well so far, so we're getting power relay. We're clearing this for hopefully more contacts next. So building the power relay and then we're going to get more Illyrium and Alloys. And we're potentially forced to go on to a facility mission soon. 250 supplies, not too bad. Uh, engineer, not really needed at this point. Yeah, don't want to play protect the device. This here is a lot of chrysalids. This might be a first decent mission. What else uh, do we have here? Yeah, we don't need that much intel at the moment. I think I would actually go for this for the extra supplies. It would help us to upgrade a few weapons and so on. Out of curiosity, the bulb up. Uh, costed us 210 right 70 for the normal version 210 for the full version and it's 25 and 15 so we can't sell a larium uh, can we get 210 supplies somehow potentially not immediately but the reward of the next mission might be worth it which kind of begs the question whether or not we actually take uh, the skirmisher with us we can still still do with the rest of the team we can still do with the rest of the team but uh, maybe we're not uh, using the skirmisher could have used the skirmisher to actually do the covert action mission but that would have uh, mm, wasted the 10 dodge or nearly 10 dodge so i think it's better with the ranger and the rest of the team still looks fine grenadiers now have their weapon upgrade so that should be good 
And we should also level specialists desperately. Okay, guys, uh, we're far from having this one in the back. I've just upgraded a lot and tried to get back into the power curve. Um, definitely a bit of a resource hoarder uh, kind of uh, thing going on here. But with our new setup, we should be okay, I think, for the next mission. And we'll take it from there. If you enjoyed uh, the Saving Your Disaster campaign so far, leave a like and a comment down below. And then see you in the next episode. Comme toujours, as the French would say. Comme toujours. Alright, bye-bye.